just me. Oh, man. I thought... I thought you were going to stay clear. Oh. Here until I left tonight. You'd be hungry, so I brought you lunch. That would have been fine. All right, then I did it for me. If I had to think of you sitting here starving to death, my whole day would have been shot. It's not your problem, but thank you. Jason, I wish I could do more for you. But I can't go on keeping a secret from Lucky. Where were you last year on Valentine's Day? I was... tracking an arsonist so I could blackmail the quarter mains. You never say what I expect. What'd you expect? I don't know, that you're... alone staring at Valentine's decorations or on your bike, riding on some road in the middle of nowhere, not getting ready to blackmail someone. Well, for Valentine's Day, you're supposed to give someone you like something they like, right? True. Well, Carly and Michael wanted to get away from the quarter main, so that's what I tried to give them. So even though you left, you were still looking out for them? Yeah, well, leaving doesn't change how you feel about a person. Sometimes it makes the feelings even clearer. Carly and Michael will always matter to me. They seem happy with Sonny. And that's where they belong. He loves them. They're a family. What about you? Um, their friend. You know, I help out when I can. That doesn't seem fair to you. It is. See, Carly and Michael and I would never have worked. I mean, sometimes the thing you had, no matter how good it seemed, isn't right for you anymore. What is right for you, Jason? <sighs> Who knows what's right for anyone? Do you know for yourself? Well, lucky is. And my painting, I hope. Why wouldn't it be? Well, I sort of hit this wall. The best thing I've ever done is this painting of the wind. It's the closest I've come to putting a feeling on canvas. You know, the painting that I had given you and you asked me to keep it here for you. Well, you know, it's a little hard to carry on a bike. All right, so maybe it wasn't the most appropriate gift. <laughs> no, it's just not one I could take with me. It's, it's one I have to come back to. I really hope this turns out good. Yeah, it's the whole reason I've been telling everybody they can't come up to my studio. <laughs> what is so fascinating out that window? There's Sunny going to the warehouse. So that's the reason you wanted to stay here. Because it has a good view of the warehouse. That was one of the reasons. When I knew I'd have to keep out of sight, I thought of you in this place. I knew I could trust you. But I didn't think enough about you and how tough this would be. Would you not thank me again? As a matter of fact, it's been so dreadful. I brought you a present. It's fudge. My version of Tammy's recipe. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. You know, I don't have anything for you. Oh, no, it's... No, 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 wait a minute. About it. Wait a minute, I do. Jason, you don't... You don't have to give me anything. No, when I went to Italy, okay, I saw these glass blowers, and, uh, they made all kinds of stuff. Some of it was pretty junky, lots of gold and paint all over, but the color of the glass was so intense I brought back a piece to remind me. Look, it's... It's kind of like a stained glass window at a church. What an incredible red. Happy Valentine's Day. Jason, you, you keep this. It's important to you. Look, I, uh... it's, it's not a ruby. It's a hunk of glass. Take it. Thank you. It's beautiful. Yeah. 
there, you kind of... You really need to take it outside to see the... to see the light coming through. And I'd go with you if I could. It's perfect here. The fire is fighting. Come on. Yes, there are Come on, Sonny, come out. Come out. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Sonny's not coming out. Thank you. Wait. Jason, no. Wait, wait. Betty. Betty. You gotta get out of here, Betty. Sonny! Over here! No! Over here! You have to get my husband out of there! You have to get him out! 